So the other night, two nights ago actually, my hot water tank decided to blow its brains out. And of course it's normally under the sink in my kitchen cupboards. And it wrecked my floor. Yeah, oh, smiley and gapped and everything else. So I called a couple of rental uh, hot water tank places, and <clears throat> yeah, they don't do a 30 gallon tank, which is now in the back of the pickup truck. So one nice lady helped me out and she suggested <clears throat> going to Home Depot if I can find somebody to install a hot water tank and uh, buy it. So my $650 tax return is going to my hot water tank. And I had no water, running water for two days because when I went to shut the cold water supply to the hot water tank off, the, hot, the knob broke. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, so the knob broke. <clears throat> and I had to shut the main water off to the house. <laughs> which is in the bedroom, which is at the other end of the trailer. So, yeah, but anyway... Thank God for a camping shower in a bag. <laughs> so another exciting day in the life of me. So much for my $650 tax return. Oh, but I won 50 bucks on the 649. <laughs> yeah, I guess where that's going too. To a new hot water tank. Anyway, hope you guys are being safe. And uh, you know what? Uh, this is, this has been a learning experience for me. Uh, I've never done the broken hot water tank thing, so, um, I called my dad and I called a buddy to uh, give me some advice while the thing was flooding and, uh, you know, if it wasn't for them and their helpfulness, uh, I, I probably would have been pretty upset. <laughs> I was upset, but it would have been worse. But anyway, that's it for now. Stay safe, love each other, and uh, take care. Bye.